first thing you need to do is, this is the carburetor here, is to remove the float bowl. Now I'd recommend that you run the generator out of fuel first. If the generator still got fuel in it, I'd recommend that you turn the fuel tap off and then you need to drain the carburetor. You'll see two bolts on the bottom of the carburetor, one pointing vertically upwards and the other pointing out towards you at 45 degrees. What you need to do is undo this drain screw with a 10mm spanner, remove the screw, get yourself a suitable container, hold it underneath and basically let it drain into the container. I've actually got a carburetor here, which is going to make it much easier for you to see what I'm actually doing other than doing it on the generator. So, having drained the carb of all its fuel, we undo the vertical bolt and remove the float chamber. In an older model, if you've had water in the fuel or been left for long periods of time with water in the fuel, you'll see rust in the bottom of the float bowl. Um, typically this can cause problems because particles of rust will actually enter the carburetor and cause block jets, all sorts of problems. If you do have rust in your float bowl after a couple of years of use, or you've had water in the petrol at any time, um, you can certainly get these replaced in our spares department. Right, the next step is to remove the float. You'll see this little pivot pin, which basically can pull straight out of the hole. Here's the little pivot pin. And then you can withdraw the float. The little float has a little rubber needle on the end, which you can just clean off if there's any debris or anything on the float. The next step, down inside the hole where the main bolt came out of, is the main jet. You need a fairly narrow screwdriver. You can get onto the main jet and basically you can just unscrew the main jet bit more. Your carburetor will be this way up and it should just follow you out. Right. Out came the main jet and the emulsion tube. Now these are the main parts that get dirty. We'll put those to one side for one moment. The next thing that needs to be done when your carburetor is in place on the generator is you need to blow up with an air line or a can of compressed air to blow any debris out of the main hole that the main jet came from. And you can also blow up this hole, which is where the um, fuel float needle came from, just to remove any dirt out of there. So that should, that'll clean the main jet hole and it'll clean the float hole. Again. With the emulsion tube, you'll see rows of six holes all around the emulsion tube. These must be kept clear. Um, if they are severely blocked, you can use a fine point of a needle to clean them. There's also a couple of small holes in the end here, and similarly, a narrow hole all the way through the centre. All these need to be clear, and I'd recommend, if you do get any blockages, you can do it with a small needle. Um, and then, carburetor cleaner spray would be just as good. Um, that will clean any debris off the emulsion tube and to blow it off with an airline or can of compressed air afterwards. Once you've blown everything out and everything's clean, you can replace the emulsion tube. The large end, like a little cotton reel shape, goes in last. So that drops in there. Then the main jet, which also has a narrow hole down through the middle, could be washed in carburetor cleaner, blown out with an airline make sure that there's nothing in the hole of the main jet. Take the main jet, as you can imagine you're going to be doing this this way up, up into the hole, just hold it in position, back in with your screwdriver, screw it back into place. There we are. Next job, back on with the float, making sure that the little needle 
goes back up the little brass pipe and then back in with the pivot pin lining up with the hole in the rocker in the uh, float. There we are. Next job, making sure that the little o-ring is in place. We can replace the float bolt. Again, small o-ring, back on with the screw. back up with either a 10mm socket or a 10mm spanner and that will be the main part of the carburetor then cleaned.